Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's work on the problem 67 in chapter 3. In this one, this is still the relative velocity. And this is still the problems about the cross the river problems. And we can see they tell us um, there is the swimmer and the person. And uh, she just uh, swim in the water, right? And we know the velocity the sw swimmer to the water. And also we know the velocity the water to the shore. And the, so for this one, from the relative velocity, it's very easy to understand the velocity swimmer to the shore equal to the velocity swimmer to the water plus velocity water to the shore. This is called the relative equation. And in this one, we, know, we can see this is I component. This is the J component. And then we can find the velocity the swimmer to the shore in two components, I component and J component. Because at the first one, the velocity swimmer to the water is to the J component, 0 0.6. And then the velocity of the water to the shore is 0 0.5, right? I component. And now, now the, the first problem is ask you how far downstream will she land? So in this one, we can see we consider this is a y component, and we know the uh, at a displacement at a y is a fifty five meter. So ask about the downstream the displacement at x component. Do you agree? Yes. So we can use the similar triangle rules. We say this this side is zero point six. Given. This side is 0 0.6 and this side 0 0.5. So consider this is a similar triangle. So we use delta x divided by delta y equal to the velocity water to relative to the shore divided by the velocity swimmer to the water. Do you agree? Yes. And then this one is 0 0.5. This is 0 0.6 and we get it. The second one is to ask you how long uh, will it take her to reach the another side. So in this one, this is a ask you the time taking. So we just look at the y component, the j component. You can see in this one, we know displacement in y component. And we also know the velocity swimmer to the water is just 0 0.6. So super easy, we can get the time taking. Use the displacement in Y component divided by the velocity in Y component. Thank you.